Should we listen to Forks Over Knives, the documentary, and the people associated with it? All right, Forks Over Knives. Pretty sure this is a all about the vegetarian diet and... Shivam Joshi really doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to the ketogenic diet. Uh, to some extent, maybe I'll agree with some of this, but let's look through this. The keto diet swept across the country. Promises of diabetes reversal. Is it too good to be true? Okay, so it says it's a fad diet, the first thing. And it's not a fad diet. It's well-researched. It's been around since the 1920s. And it's been known to, it was originally an anti-cancer diet. So, <clears throat> all I got to say is if you read this or if you agree with this, you should check out Dr. Berg's channel. He refutes a ton of this information and so does uh, Dr. Darren, <laughs> what is Dr. Darren Schmidt? Yes, Dr. Darren Schmidt of the Ann Arbor Healing Center. I would definitely suggest checking out those YouTubers. They have tons of great information. And this is wrong too. Okay, so it says followers of the keto diet do not eat whole grains. Not true. Legumes or fruit. Not true, not true, not true. So there's different ancient grains that I can have some of, but I don't even desire them. And why would I? There's no benefits from whole grains. I mean, maybe there's some claims that it's good for heart health, but I think that's just propaganda that's put out there for all these freaking, you know, Grain companies. Anyways, legumes. I eat macadamia nuts. I eat some peanuts here and there, pistachios here and there, and I enjoy those things. Almonds, almond butter, those things are keto. So, and I don't eat fruit. No, that's not true. I eat some berries. I don't even desire to eat berries, but I eat some berries here and there. And yeah, the greatest antioxidant powers are in blackberries, blueberries, and other berries of that nature. Um... No human population has survived in ketosis. Okay, well, here's the argument here. Um, nobody is meant to be in a state of ketosis nonstop. It really doesn't happen. I mean, a good way of looking at ketos keto is keep enjoying things occasionally. That's what I've heard how to break down keto. So I just had a whole bunch of carbohydrates for Thanksgiving. I went off it back on keto already. I got a little bit sick with this whole keto flu thing, and maybe I was a little sick from all the other crap. But anyways, I'm not sure I really believe this. This is, sounds not really cool. Deficiencies in vitamins. I can guarantee you tons of people are deficient in vitamins, regardless of whether they're consuming carbs or not. And I'm replacing my vitamins all the time. I've actually not been taking as many vitamins recently because I've been focused on detoxing and getting rid of parasites, which I found out I had a problem because carbs feed parasites, because sugars feed parasites. I've switched to keto. And they talk about you want to talk about controversial, why don't you look into the carnivore diet? Because that's even more crazy than just the keto diet. There's people saying they're getting healthy, way healthy from just eating meat. Uh, and deficiencies in selenium. So here's the deal. Selenium, I take that daily. And if you want to increase your selenium intake, guess what else? A legume that is high in selenium that you probably only need 5 to 10 daily is a Brazil nut. If you eat 10 Brazil nuts daily, most likely you'll get a therapeutic dose of selenium. So there you go. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm doing just fine on the selenium, but thanks for your concern. So, and then this is a myth about cholesterol. Go out there and get the book, The Cholesterol Myth. Risk of dying from heart disease, pretty sure that's a myth. I mean, heart disease is an epic prom problem in our society, and the standard American diet is not helping at all. You know, and the bottom line is I've tried a vegetarian and vegan diet. It doesn't work for me doesn't work. I don't feel happy at all. I mean, there's a possibility that I could spend more time in a state of ketosis eating a uh, vegan vegetarian while in ketosis and higher fats, etc. And that may be doable for me, but I don't see any problem with red meat. I think red meat is an overlooked superfood and you should look into that if you don't believe me on that. Carnivore diet. That's all I'd say again. So diabetes, I don't know, didn't have it, don't really have anything to say about that. As far as the weight loss, two pound advantage? No, in one year I dropped 70 pounds. So I'd say that's a huge weight loss strategy and I didn't exercise at all. No exercise, one bit. 
So yes, some people maybe would have better problem or better health with higher carbs, but I ain't one. And arrhythmias, pancreatitis, all these things, I actually have less of that stuff. Um, kidney stones, then you know the number one thing that's going to increase kidney stones is uh, consuming spinach because it's high in, uh, what's the name of those things? Anyways, look up spinach and kidney stones and you'll find out all about oxalates. That's what it is. You want to stay away from oxalates, dude. And guess what? Ketosis, ketones, all that stuff, none of it has most of the fat and uh, meat that you would eat on a keto diet. No, there's not oxalates in those things. Maybe some, but far more in plants. Anyways, guys, stay healthy. Do your research. Check out Dr. Berg. Check out Dr. Jan- Darren Smith. And, I mean, who paid for this study? Who is... Well, he's a medical doctor, so he's taking big money from the pharmaceutical industry. I can almost guarantee it, right? Because that's all this guy's name says to me right now is Shivam Joshi Pharmaceutical Money Taker. Uh, I should look that up. There's a website where I can find out exactly how much money he's taken from the uh, pharmaceutical industry. So let's just check that out. I'll copy and paste. Copy text. Okay, so here we are, openpaymentsdata.cms.gov physicians. Here we go. Here's Shivam Joshi. What do we got? There's an address for the business, it looks like. Payment information, 2015. Let's see. 100, over $100. $111 in $0.95. Cents. So... And it breaks it down, food and beverage. So somebody bought him dinner. I wonder what that dinner was about, or whatever. I don't know. Or they just bought food and beverage. None disputed. No comments. So it could be worse, but the bottom line is, looks like he's taking some pharmaceutical money. If you know more about this than I do, let me know.